So this is lesson 6.3, which is logarithms. Our essential question is, what are logarithms and how are they evaluated? So our first example says we're going to solve the equation 2x equals 8 and 2 to the x to the power of x equals 8. So we know 2x equals 8, we would, they're multiplying 2 times x, so we would do the inverse operation and divide. So we would get x equals 4. Um, as far as the exponential, uh, the inverse, so what this is trying to connect to is these are inverse operations. So undoing multiplication was division on the left. Now we need to undo an exponent. And so the inverse operation of an exponent is a log. So this would actually be log base 2 of 8 equals x. Or this one we can kind of think of 2 to the what power equals 8. So we would know that x is going to equal 3. So in the future examples on this lesson, we're going to talk about how we can solve um, getting more into this kind of stuff in our future lessons. Okay, so the first concept is how do we switch between exponential and logarithmic form? So if you see here, we have a to the b equals c, and that can be re rewritten as log base a of c equals b. So understanding where each of those a, b, and c are located and where they go when we switch the form is going to be important. So switching between exponential and logarithmic form is something that we're going to do a lot in this chapter, and it's something you need to get familiar with, and it's going to make solving a whole lot easier. Okay, so example two is to convert between exponential and logarithmic. So using what we just talked about in the previous slide, part a, so this would be log base 3 of 81 equals 4. And then part B, so this would be 10 to the third power equals 1,000. Okay, so that's identifying where all of those numbers go when you switch the form is important. Okay, example three is evaluating. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this idea of switching the form to figure this out without a calculator. So we're going to say if we switch the form, like if I say this is equal to question mark, then if I switch the form, this would be 5 to the question mark equals 125. So we can think, okay, 5 to what power equals 125? And the answer would be 3. Okay, same thing here. I'm going to set it equal to a question mark and say 1 fourth to the what power equals 16. So we know that that's going to need to be negative to flip it. So this would be to the, this would be negative 2 because 4 squared would be 16. So 1 fourth to the negative 2 power is equal to 16. Okay, and then our next one, I'm going to set that equal to the question mark as well. 3 to the what power equals 0. When we know anything to, sorry, 3 to the, yeah, 3 to the what power equals 0. And I just confused myself there for a second. Okay, so um, we, I was thinking 3 to the 0 power equals what? But no, we're thinking 3 to the what power equals 0. And there is nothing. There's nothing we can raise 3 to to make it equal 0, so this would be no solution. Okay, and then finally, we're going to look at this last one. We have 2 to the what power equals 2 to the 8th power. So you can see just by looking at that, that that answer would be 8, because they have the same base, so therefore they have to have the same exponent. Okay, so we have two logs that have special names. We have a common log and a natural log. They are both on your calculator. So if you look at any calculator, you will see a log button, and then you will see a button that says LN, which stands for natural log. So these are both understood to have a base, so when you see them, 
you're not going to see them written with a base, but we understand it's there. So with a common log, you're going to see it written just as log. And we know that that's really log base 10. Sometimes you'll see the 10 written, sometimes you won't, but it's one of those that you need to know those, um, those are equivalent. Okay, and then as far as natural log goes, you're going to see it written as ln, natural log. Okay, and natural log is really log base e. You're never going to see it written as log base e. You're always going to see it written as natural log. But recognizing that that's what that represents is helpful. Okay, so then example four is what is the value of the logarithmic expression to the nearest ten thousandth? So these are all common log or natural log, so we can do them on the calculator. So you can even, you could go to Desmos, you can go to any calculator that's a scientific calculator that has the log and natural log button on it. So you would just type it in exactly like you see it. You type in log of 900 and you should get 2.9542. If you type in natural log of E, that's like saying e to the what power equals e, so that would be 1, that's what you should get. And then if you type in natural log of negative 1.87, you should get no solution. It should tell you an error in your calculator. And the reason for that is it'd be saying e to the what power equals negative 1.87. We can't raise a positive number to a power and have it equal a negative number. It can equal a fraction, but it can't equal a negative. So it's important to know you can't take the log of a negative number. And that's going to be important when we get into solving log equations as well. Okay, so our last example is solving. So what is the solution to the equation round to the nearest thousandth? So we are going to, what we're going to do on both of these cases is we're going to switch the form to solve. So this would be log base 10, which we don't really need to write, of 25 equals x minus 1. So this is just saying log of 25 equals x minus 1. Well, we can do log of 25 on the calculator. You can type that in and get 1.40 equals x minus 1. Finally, add 1 to both sides. So 2.40 is equal to x. Okay, and then our last example here, we're going to switch the form. So natural log is log base e. So be e to the fourth power equals 2x plus 3. Well, we can type e to the fourth power into our calculator as well. So we get 54.6 equals 2x plus 3. Subtract 3 from both sides. 51.6 equals 2x. Divide by 2. And we get 25.8 equals x. So something to be careful of um, when you're doing these problems, I would hold all, the hold all the values in your calculator till the very end and then round to what it tells you to. So um, I clearly rounded on this before I was done, which um, is not the best example, but it's mainly more for the notes to show you where these numbers are coming from. But if I were doing this problem, what I would do in my calculator is I would type in E to the fourth power, I'd get an answer, i leave that answer in, and then just hit minus three divided by two, and I get 25.8, which is my final answer here too. But um, you might get a slightly different answer depending on what they want you to round to. Okay, let me 